everyone, Dead Owl Nervi here. Today, little follow up on my last video. I showed up this thing and you are all asking me questions about it. So today we take a brand new Big Shock and we make a new one. Welcome to TAG. Yeah. An old school mod for an older school blaster. Let's rip this thing from its packaging. Can I? Nope. This has been in storage a long time. All the little rubber bands are yellow. Good. So, classic Big Shock. This one completely unmodified. This one I, I found in a part bin and decided to run test on it. I'm not even sure what springs inside because it's kind of tough and it's hard to catch. But this thing is working very well. This one is going to be a simple, simple, simple mod to create a thing like this. You will need a mega big shock, any single shot blaster you can shove a barrel into it. Maybe, maybe even the Ultra 4 could be a very good base for this thing. So first thing, I'm not even sure, I'm not going to have to remove the shell on it. So we're going to need to punch out this restrictor the old fashioned way with a screwdriver to cut the tab and then pliers to rip it apart. Mm, big flat screwdriver. Let's position it right. A good slap normally do it. I think yes. Let's do the next one. Nope. Ah, maybe. And the last one. This shall be enough to remove it, I hope. Oops. Almost close, but no cigar. I had two of the tab following and one still there. So restrictor is punched through, but it doesn't want to come out. So we are going to open it. Should have done this first. Good. It's done. Let's open the bottom. You hear the restrictor rattling inside. Let's hold it because sometimes there's a bit of tension on it. Good. Other part of the restrictor. I shall be able to remove those. Oh, and it's coming. Here's the spring. Good. I had to broke the stem on the restrictor. But now it is fully empty. Uh, I'm gonna give it a way better o-ring before I close it. That's pretty much the mod it's gonna have for now. Don't wanna do anything to it. That shall be done. Let me just try it like that. Oh yes, I like it. I said tree dart. Oops, let me just wipe this a little bit because I had some loop there. Okay, I said tree dart for this one. This one is a five dart, it's a little long, so tree dart. Tree dart length, and now the copper pipe. This is, as you can see here, this is type M, half an, half an inch copper pipe. This was a three piece, a three foot piece. But this is a half inch type M. 
Do I have it? Yeah, the red marking are normally type M on those copper piping. Does it? <laughs> the type is written somewhere else, maybe? Yeah, type M. It's written on this barrel. But, yeah, this is the best one you can find for inline clip. Due to this wall, the point twenty nine wall is pretty thin, which gives us a very big diameter that will not seal for any nerve dart. Now, those, you cut the exact measurement of your dart uh, because the little tip that I'm gonna put in the half inch by three and a half inch copper uh, copper coupler reducer that we use for the breech the gate is not really adding that much length and we need to keep some space for the dart movement in there and the airflow so going there going roughly three dart I'm gonna go right here let me take pipe cutter it was about to give this copper pipe pretty easy don't even have to clean the other end because it will go inside this blaster and for the tip this little coupler come on for this fire test i didn't even glue it weld it solder it glue, uh, put tape nothing on it it's holding so i'm gonna maybe had a roll of tape to prevent it from going out but basically that's gonna be the mod and yeah i'm gonna do a small chrono test because i haven't chrono this one yet so I'm going to do a small chrono test on stock spring because I can't give you any reference. I don't even know what spring is inside. This was an old, old thing I had lying around. So this one, stock big shock spring with the three dart tube inserted in. It's going to be taped. So you're going to do your first roll of tape around here. Because the other one I did at the complete end but it was because the blaster had no barrel this one need to do a little further there's a little ridge for the barrel that is kind of problematic when you try to insert oh think I did something nice now let's put another one so we're gonna start with this one because I want to make sure this one is kind of sealed so we're gonna go around it yeah two turn is gonna be enough for this one Let me just check it. Yeah, and I shall give my ring of tape just at the end of this one here. I don't even know what kind of FPS I'm gonna have. Hopefully it's gonna be good because I had very good result in the archive for my project oh this is getting somewhere i'm using the handle because it's softer yeah it looks like it's stuck there nice so you could add some tape to secure it i don't think this is gonna fly away and I think, yeah. Let me just try it. One, two, and three. Oops, didn't fire. Yeah, okay, it worked. <laughs> Let me just try it again. 
Works great. The dart flies back, so that's a good sign. One, two, three. Yeah, they, they, they all fly. Let's do a small chrono test on this thing. Because, yeah, it's not ugly. But I will put back the shell on it. Let me put back the shell and we'll do a chrono test and even a fire test on this little thing. So, little chrono test for this uh, big shock. Little thingy. <laughs> Inline clip. Let me put three dark, three of the same Adventure Force. Like, I'm not really expecting super, super performance result because... 68, I haven't changed the spring in it, and I put a bigger O-ring. Still, 73, 72, not bad. Let me try three Magzard in it, just to see if there's a difference. Sixty-nine, sixty-nine, and 72. Ah, not bad. Let me try three Worker, Worker Gen 3 in it can it do something and then i want to do something i put a little tape on the why this thing didn't fire because i hit the handle with my hand yeah and it still flies not super stellar let's see how much fps we lose with a scar on it i'm gonna try the scar barrel that work that came with my worker swift. Let me just I just put the scar barrel on it. Let me just try it. 70 66 77 We almost have an increase in velocity with this scar barrel. Let me try three more. And the worker one maybe? was not so bad and then I'm gonna explain to you why I like this worker scar barrel so much let me that's not bad there's a scar barrel on this little blaster and they seem to go a lot straighter and we're gonna try with and without on the fire range let's go try this thing Well, in the end, like that, it's pretty neat, but it's gonna deserve a slight spring upgrade just so I can boost up the FPS. Uh, yes, this shell accepts very nicely the worker scar. It clips into it, holds and doesn't shake. So that's even a bonus for this little blaster. It gives you a nice, clear, uh, I don't know, sight effect on it.
that's kind of neat and if you really want to uh, th that scar gives you some kind of accuracy like the dart spin just enough okay for now I need to hold it I will need to have like a tighter seal around it but so far it is working like with a good spring upgrade and a better tight fit for this scar but so far it is removable storable in the blaster it gives uh, 65 ish 70 fps i even had higher with the scar on so who knows where i can take this thing yeah that thing is pretty neat i mean even with the scar it look awesome so that's it for this small video hope it answered the question to the one who asked me to see this thing in action in the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to be notified for my latest video. This was Dave Fatag. See you next time. Bye.